Hello everyone and here we are live back again at Hefe Sports Hobbies on a wonderful Friday here ready for St. Patrick's Day weekend. WrestleMania is 22 days away. I cannot wait because Hefe Sports Hobbies, Hefe and the First Lady are going to be taking Philadelphia on uh, April 6th and 7th. So I'm hoping to see you all there. Please feel free to say hello. And today... I got belt to my right and belt to my left or whatever which way I got them. I got 11 through the mail autographs for all of you here today. So let's go ahead and see who we got. Also, before that even gets started with that, a lot of great feedback from my WrestleMania custom WrestleMania belt that I did. So thank you to every single person who has commented, liked, and followed, and 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 uh, uh, shared and supported all of this. Lots of hours, lots of inquiries, so stay tuned to FA Sports Hobbies because you never know when more belt projects are going to be coming up. So uh, thank you for all the comments and all that stuff. So uh, love doing it. Uh, lots of time and consuming uh, lots of uh, uh, things that you learn when you start something new. This is my uh, one, two... Three, four, fifth, sixth, fifth or sixth belt that I've done. And this one is the best one by far. I thought I could not top the SummerSlam belt, but I did it. And now I kind of have ideas on how to make that one better. So every major event I'm going to try and go to, I'm going to try and make a custom belt for. So I've been to two real Royal Rumbles, but I did not know how to leather tool at that point. So I got to get another Royal Rumble underneath my belt and a summer and a Survivor Series uh, have yet to be at a Survivor Series. That's the last one. Third WrestleMania, one SummerSlam, two Royal Rumbles. The Survivor Series War Games is the only one that is left. So I guess we're going to go ahead and whenever life will take me there, we're going to go ahead and find out uh, wherever Hefe Sports Hobbies will show up. So let's go ahead and see who we got coming out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right. Booyah right here. Let's go ahead and see who we got. Index, I got three for three return and answers to my question. So let's so, go ahead and see who we got. So, all right, a Bobby Chance return, of course. Three for three with the fee on the 1956 Tops. Booyah. 1960 Tops. Booyah. And then I believe this is the 1951 Bowman Booyah. I had the smaller one and I found a uh, t the bigger one on a better price. So three sweet sigs signed in blue from Mr. Bobby Chance, and a former Hefe Sports Hobby sweet sig champion and a Hefe Sports Hobbies Hall of Famer to, to boot. So I did send him questions. So let's see if he wrote back. And he did. Lovely. What yeah. was Mickey Mantle like as a teammate? Mickey was a great guy and had a and a great ball player. Okay, how was Mickey as a friend? Wonderful. How was uh, Bobby Richardson as a teammate? He was my roommate for four years with the Yankees. He was a great guy. Bobby Richardson, great guy. What was your favorite MLB moment? Winning the 1952 AL MVP. Uh, won 24 games, lost seven. 27 complete games. Okay. Uh, favorite MLB player of all time, Bobby Richardson. So look at that. Um, what was your pregame ritual going over all the hitters? Uh, what were the toughest uh, players to strike out? Roy Seavers and Ted Williams. And describe the moment you struck out Jackie Robinson. Uh, toughest hitter to get out. So. Thank you, Bobby Chance, for all of that. That was unbelievable. All right, great. So next one coming out of Carroll Stream, Illinois. You know what? Let's see. I was hoping. No. Al Weiss Booyah, I believe, on his rookie card. I saw a lot of returns of Jimmy Garoppolo. I thought this might have been it, but I'll take Al Weiss to boot with the sweet sig signed in blue right there from Al Weiss. Okay, 11 TTMs, Baltimore, Maryland. Getting ready to rock and roll here. Who do we got? And then Booyah. Sweet Sig. Signed in blue from the 1967 top set. Uh, Ron Hansen. 
with the sweet sig signed in blue right there. Never disappoints. Has a great signature as well. Booyah, I believe. If you send him a rookie card, he will inscribe 1960 Rookie of the Year. All right, San Diego, California. And Booyah. All right, a legendary return from the, the chicken. Chi Booyah, right there. Ted Giannullis. There, I got it. Ted Giannullis, right there. Booyah, beautiful signature from him. All right, next one coming out of Cincinnati. There's a card in here. It's a flower stamp. So it's been out for a while. And then Booyah. Sonny Jorgensen and Ken Anderson. I thought I might have lost this one. I got another one of Sonny to maybe like one day if Ken's doing an in-person sign to take it to him. But then Booyah finally got it back. I sent this out back in the summer. So this has been out probably mid-summer, June, July. I'm not totally sure, but I'm happy to have gotten this back with the dual sign. Sonny Jorgensen signs for fee and Ken Anderson um, signs for free, but a sweet sig signed in blue. Two sweet sigs signed in blue on this card. Happy to have this one back. All right, now I had an RTS to my own address. Not sure how that works, but this is coming out of Tampa, Florida. And it is Booyah Dave LaPointe with a sweet sig signed in blue right there. How do you get an RTS to your own house? I don't know. Self-adjust envelope, top corner, bottom, in the middle, or wherever it is. Booyah, RTS, could not find address, and then it got back to me. So who knows how long that was out for, but happy to get it back. All right, this has come from West Peach, uh, well, West Peach, West Palm Beach, Florida. Ooh, I have it in a case. And booyah, very, very happy to get this guy back, Bob Greasy. Look at my little thing off there. With the sweet sig sign and black Sharpie. The Sharpie skipped right off the bat there, but he made up for it with the rest of the signature. I might start looking for these. Uh, there's a bunch of these cool little cards that they came out with. This is from Topps. Um, and... 28 of 33. So there's 33 cards, and a bunch of the guys that have these cards are still signing through the mail. So I'm going to try and get a couple of more of these signed, a couple of Hall of Famers, and so on and so forth. So booyah, right there, Bob Greasy. All right, San Jose, California, another flower stamp. So could it be my Orlando Sapita? It is not, but that's okay. Jim Simon on the 1969 top set. Booyah, right there. From the Atlanta Falcons. So Sweet Sig signed in black Sharpie there. A lot of baseball, a lot of football today. Nothing from strain from that. DV Daniels. Who could it be? A hockey. Spoke too soon. Adam Burt. Booyah. Sweet Sig signed in blue right there. From the 1991 score set. Alright. Okay, two more left. Another one from Baltimore. All right. Oh, a quick return. I sent this out not too long ago. Ozzy Newsome right there. Hall of Famer, 1999. He usually takes a year to get these back, but booyah, quick return. I sent this out within the last two weeks. So booyah, Ozzy Newsome, sweet sig sign in blue, and I believe to the Ravens training facility. So booyah right there. And today's main event, Parts Unknown. Who is it? My letter is back. My card is there. And then Larry Jaster of the 1967 top set. Booyah. You can barely see it because he wrote in ballpoint pen, but that's okay. So if you look and see, there's Larry. There's Jaster on the other side. My cousin Scott gave me these. So thank you, Scott. Uh with another sweet sig and another autograph to the collection here on the 1967 top set. So, wow. So, 11 returns. Sweet sig signed in blue and black 
and ballpoint pen coming from hockey, baseball, and football. So stay tuned because Hefe Sports Hobbies has a lot going on. Uh, so stay tuned because this is Hefe Sports Hobbies and this is where those autographs come to the mail and the stories last forever. Peace out, people. Be safe because I will be seeing you all soon, probably in Philadelphia.